All right, I just want to start off by saying this is gonna be bad quality, cause this is my phone. I don't have like a camera, John. <laughs> so I'm working on that. Um, I'm making this video because it's for my transition as I go through, and plus people were like kind of asking me to make a video and how like my process went at Mizzoni Center. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm bad at making videos, <laughs> but yesterday, December 18th, um, I started testosterone. It was an exciting day for me, <laughs> cause I waited so fucking long for this. I waited like six years. Long ass time. Like I knew when I was 12 I wanted to start, but I didn't come out officially to the world until I was 15. Um, but yeah, it's been. I never thought I would ever start. <laughs> it's crazy, but yeah. Please don't be alarmed by my voice. I might sound. Like my voice changed, but it has not. People were asking me because I called my friend on the phone. I started tea. <laughs> She's like, "Oh my god, your voice has changed." No, I just miss. I'm sick. My voice is like really scratchy, and it's really sore. So no, I'm not, my voice has not changed yet. <laughs> but uh, that takes a month or two to actually drop. But yeah, nothing changed really yet. I mean, I don't have my first shot. But I feel more energized, even though I feel really sick. I still feel like I have a lot of energy and like happy more in a better state. Cause I'm starting. But like I said, um, testosterone won't cure your depression. You know, mental. You know, illness. Um, I don't like using the word illness, but so I went to Mazzoni Center down in Philadelphia South, I think it is. It's um 1348 Painbridge Street. They used to be at a different location, but they moved. But yeah, it's a great place. I love it there. Some people don't like it there, but I personally think it's a great place to start because you don't have to wait. There is a waiting list, but with me and my view, it really all just takes a month for you to start. Like on your first, okay, let me back up. So I had called when I was under age still to make an appointment for, your first appointment is your intake and your like therapy session. Yeah, they do an exam on you, like take your weight, height, whatever like that they ask you like they t they go like in your exam they go over the changes and what, what changes are reversible and what are not reversible with the medical examiner your doctor that's what i went through they tell me like this is changes just we're gonna experience within the first week and this week like all this crap and if, and i don't even i didn't even have to know i just i already knew like what he was telling me what my doctor was telling me i already knew you no, know, like in the course of being out, you know how many videos I watched, and how how much time I researched on testosterone and everything like that. I knew, I know, but it's their their job to go over everything. But I mean, some things I didn't know, so don't get me wrong there. But most of the stuff he talked me about, I knew. But that took like, they say it takes an hour. It does not take a fucking hour. I mean, waiting it might seem it takes an hour. But in honesty, that like talking to the doctor, it did not take an hour. Like I got, or I thought I was gonna get out of there about eight o'clock, but I got out of there like around seven o'clock or even six forty-five ish, which is great. Um, but yeah, the, the the medical exam, the the doctor talking to you. Sorry if I stutter a lot. That's my thing. But when they talk to you, just like twenty-five to thirty minutes, not an hour. I promise you that. And then I went to my counseling session, had to wait for that, like maybe five minutes and then she called me back. And that took 
more than it probably took maybe about 45 minutes and did not take an hour i just know that like it just it's not an hour it does not take all together maybe two hours but like you're gonna get out of there like you're gonna get out of there like just you're gonna get it early <laughs> i can't explain right now i just know it didn't take over to me but yeah that was my intake i did um here's my issue this is my issue um with your appointment for intake you have to arrive 30 minutes earlier because you're a new patient you have to do all this fucking crap um i was like patient new paperwork yeah so that took a bit but but you know, after that, after everything I did was done. Oh, when the when the counseling session happens, they ask you about like your history, like your gender identity, how you feel this way, how long you put this way, how long you've been out. Um, is this really what you want? Do you feel this? Do you feel dysphoria? Like, it's basically a counseling session about your transition, or why you want to transition, what you want, and your transition. But yeah, that happened. I thought about it one and everything like that. Um, then I made an appointment for testosterone. See, okay, and blood work. Her, huh? let me go back. So they didn't do my blood work there because my appointment was late. My appointment is at 5:30 p.m. So they couldn't. The lab was like considered closed. But I feel like if you make an appointment earlier in the day, you can get your lab like blood work. Because without blood work, you can't do testosterone. You have to do blood work. But I'm with the lab corpse the next day. And within not even 24 hours, they got my blood work and they said it was cleared. So I was like, what? I was like, already? I was like, awesome. So I was good. Then I made an appointment for December 18th. See, with me, I already knew I wanted to start my second appointment. You don't have to start your second appointment if you're not ready yet. I, I was ready. If I could start my first appointment, I would have. But I couldn't. <laughs> but yeah, I started my second appointment. You can start your second appointment, but you do not have to unless you are ready to. But if you're not ready, you can wait. But yeah, I totally wanted to start. You already know. Um, so, and that takes three weeks. They say your blood work takes three weeks to get in. No, it doesn't. It's like a fucking, it took, for me, it took a day. Like, what? They lied to you. They lied to me. Like, what? But yeah. It took a day for me. Not even, not even a day. Not even 25 hours. I said, no. But yeah, but technically you still have to wait three weeks to, to, you know, I don't know why I have to wait. I never got why I have to wait three weeks, but I have to wait. It's just the process they do. No, it's okay. But my throat hurts. <laughs> but, um, so that happened. Um, let's talk about. Yesterday, <laughs> some reading. So my appointment is at eleven fifteen. The first, of, I had two appointments th yesterday. It was like they're called fifteen minute slots, which is just talking to um the nurse. Technically, I don't know if she's a nurse. I just know she's someone you talk to before, like you. It's like a check in. That's what it is before you do whatever, like a checkup, like. I'll get to that later. She just said, uh, check in with me and say what I want, you know, all this. She's like, you're starting to stop. I'm so like, yup, I am. And, um, then after, it took, that took like maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And she, you know, put my subscription through what's great is that they have a Walgreens right downstairs in their building right downstairs so she put that in my prescription right into the computer and I got it right downstairs <laughs> and let me 
People were asking about the cost too. Okay. Let's talk about the cost now. I didn't... I could have used my insurance, but with... I had complications. I had just a problem with, like, the parents. So I couldn't... I wanted... To, I could have used it, but I didn't want to go through, you know... I think you guys know. I didn't want to go through a parent yelling at me and shit like that. But, so... With my zoning center, if you do not have insurance, or if you're afraid to use their insurance, they have a scale, like a sliding scale, <laughs> sliding scale. They put you on there, and you don't have to pay for anything, like a copay. Now, I don't know, see, with me, the testosterone, the hormones, and the syringes, whatever, the syringes retail at $11 and some cents. And I only had to pay three twenty four to give you the discount for me, the Amazon discount, and the actual like hormone it cost fifty five dollars and something cents, and they gave me the discount and it came out to twenty seven ninety, which is okay with me. But I don't know if that's gonna change. Like the lady said that she's gonna like tell the my doctor that they're gonna cover it, and no, I don't know yet. I have to figure it out. But if I could, but I have to if I have to pay like twenty seven dollars. I'm good with that. I'm fine. It's better than paying $55 than, you know, syringes don't cost that much really to me. If I had to pay $11, I would have been okay with that. But still, it was, it was at a good price for me. Um, yeah, I thought I had to pay for that. But I don't know if you use your insurance, they cover it. Whatever search you have. I'm, I'm pretty sure all the insurances that are really known out there you can use. I know there's two insurances that you cannot use that they don't accept. Most of them to use. Um, so yeah, she my session on the computer. I had to wait an hour because my other point was at one fifteen. That's when they told me how to do injections. That's when I did my first shot, and it was so <laughs> like I don't know how to explain it. Like the guy asked me if I knew how to work a syringe. I was like, yes. But I still had to know, like, what to do with how many, like, like, how to, like, you know, you know, look at the doses in the syringe and how many, like, milliliters I, use, I take. But I knew how to inject it. I'm not already fucking now. Squeeze your, squeeze your stomach, inject, you're done. But I'll, I gotta explain that in person, though. And I actually do the shot. But yeah, um, my dosage is 0 0.3 milliliters. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it, I know it's 0 0.3. And it's every week, every Tuesday. Which is great. And a little vial is small. Yeah. Showing you. My awesome, my awesome life right now. My lifesaver that's saving me. This is it. I'm gonna focus, and I'm sorry, but this is what it is. not gonna focus yeah that's what it is small while it is I don't know I have two of these so I'm pretty sure for anything I have a refill in it so So yeah, if I need a real full day, real full for me. And um, I feel short as briefly. My needles. I have 20, well 19 now because I used one yesterday. But yeah, it's that small. It's not really a big, my bad. Um, yeah, I feel like I went off track. 
think I explained everything. I don't know. Hope it did. But yeah, that was an exciting day for me yesterday. It was awesome. Yeah. It's been a long journey. And I'm only making this video for like... If you want to watch it, then watch it. You know? But it also can help me look back. See how far I come in my whole transition and in the future. But yeah, I mean, not noticing any changes yet, but this is my voice two days on testosterone. I promise it does not get deep, not yet. And my voice is sore, so it may sound weird, but. Really? I don't know. I mean, yo. Wait a minute, video, bro. Wait a minute, video, bro. Sorry, I had to do this song. <laughs> but yeah, I think I, I think I said everything. I don't know. <laughs> I just know. All my, you know, trans people out there, trans men. When you start, it's a great feeling. And it's just amazing when you fucking start. Like, I felt so happy. I was there. I was shaking when I did the injection. I was like, I was so excited though. I was like, I actually had the testosterone with me in my hands. I was like, it was awesome. But the one thing I say, I do recommend Brazilian Center down in Philadelphia. If anybody lives around the fucking Pennsylvania fucking state or anything. But yeah. I don't know. What else to say? I mean, I mean, I have something to look forward to every day now. I mean, every Tuesday I can look forward to. This Tuesday is shot day. I was definitely looking forward to that. And I'm looking forward to all the changes. Especially, um, facial hair. I don't have any. I mean, I did have some, but my barber shaved it off. Um, you can't really see it with my phone, but I have just a little hairs there. But acne, um, not looking forward to that because I already know acne already, bro. But um, I'm very looking forward to Fisher and my voice. So low. <laughs> and to gain muscle too. And my shoulders to be broad. But yeah. It's been a crazy journey. Waiting for this day. Yesterday. <laughs> and I'm definitely looking forward to other changes happen <laughs> I'm just lost for words like I did not expand I'm good enough or I went too fast <laughs> I don't know but yeah I mean It's exciting, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> it's a great feeling. That's what it is, really. But I plan to do updates on my channel every month or whatever I do, when I do. Yeah. Hope it helps.
looks. Other people. At least. Um, but yeah. My name is Jackson. And this is my voice. Two days on testosterone.